this week, of, this week officially kicks off our 2013 stewardship campaign. Over the next eight weeks, we'll be having a variety of speakers come and talk during the mission moment, talk about all the good things that are going on at Trinity. In addition, similar to what we've done a couple years ago, we're going to be holding small group meetings. Now, we're calling these stewardship meetings. You know, don't be fearful of the term. These are not, you know, the finance committee is not there pounding you. These are fun meetings. Um, where in small groups we find that people are more open and willing to talk about the church and dream for the church. So, um, Jack Sin will be at the back at our table, and he's got the clipboards for the sign-ups. Um, it's a good opportunity to meet the people in the group. We're trying to keep those to 15 or 20 people, and it's just a great opportunity to talk to Kevin and the rest of the church members. For today's kickoff to stewardship, I want to talk a little bit about change. Change can be tough. Change can be stressful. Change can be wonderful. Change can come with a variety of emotions. For each of us personally, from our earliest days, change has always been with us. Looking back over the history of this church, um, there's been a lot of change occurred also. Early this year, the church leaders had a retreat with Jim Oates from the, nation, from the Ohio Conference. He led us through a number of discussions on how to position the church to grow with this word change. At the retreat, we saw a brief video on change in the church title, The Church in the Grocery Store. Walt Disney, who is one of the greatest innovators of our time, wrote, all dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. We've been going as a church through a lot of changes recently. The church leaders have spent quite a, quite a bit of time discussing that, and we're also trying to take into effect all the changes that have occurred um, as, a result, excuse me, as a result of a survey we did this last summer. Another area of change is technology. I don't know how many of you have phones like this. You know, 20 years ago, this thing was unheard of, and the power that it involves. Um, as a church, we have a brand new website, we have a YouTube channel. Um, I would like to thank Jack Sen and Chris Merrick. You see them sitting up in the balcony each week. Um, Chris has been copying over um, the audio for the radio station for, we've been on Radio Whistle for as long as I can remember. And recently, um, Jack has been taking the service, so we have a YouTube channel. So each week, we, um, we take special music, Kevin sermons, so if you miss a week, you can always listen to it. Um, we have a Facebook account, um, we have blogs, I don't know if you follow um, Sandy and a group that went to Pine Ridge this week, you can follow their activity. We have a blog when we go to uh, Mexico, I know the college parents appreciate hearing from us every day. With all these changes in technology, our main theme, embracing and celebrating God's love here in downtown Worcester, will stay the same. We hope that you are as excited as the church leaders about the possibilities that lie ahead and, pursues, and pursue our dreams, what they can be. Would you bow our heads? God, give me the courage and the vision to do a new thing for your sake when the old things stop working. Amen.